Howdy, howdy, everybody. Thank you for checking in. Another day of progress report here on the Porsche 914 Progress as we wrap the last little bits of fabrication on the chassis. Uh, went ahead and attacked one of the most problematic areas of the 914 chassis, the hellhole area. So we had some rust there. We removed the rust, made a patch panel, welded it in, prepped it with some paint. So here's a look at that. Continuing on with the 914 Project in the infamous hellhole area under the battery tray. So we've already gone ahead in here and prepped the surface as much as we can, try to remove as much rust as we can. Made a patch panel here and welded that in. Also made a patch panel for the top of the long. Before we seal this up, we're gonna use some off-the-shelf products and attempt to alleviate this rust. We're gonna just spray it in there. So we got some products from Rust-Oleum. This is Rust Reformer, it converts rust to a protected paintable surface. This needs minimal um, surface prep, so we're going to use that. We've got some zinc weld from SEM, which we're going to be using to spray the bottom of our patch panel that we made up. And then we're going to top it all off with some self-etching primer. A little bit of prep to do, but we'll see how this goes. sprayed the rust reformer on the panel. Here's the result. Looks pretty good. Nice even flat surface. And you'll see in the video I used a heat gun. And the reason why I used a heat gun before I started I went and just threw some heat inside the panel and tried to warm the inside of the rail up to around 80-90 degrees. Not too hot. And there you can see inside the long really inside that seam where the two or three panels butt up against each other that's really where I wanted to attack so pretty happy with the way this looks we'll go ahead and continue on with our prep once this dries tomorrow here's a look at the front side uh, down the rail you can see pretty good coverage one thing about the tip on that can it says to spray uh, 10 to 16 inches so it's got a pretty good stream effect so you could actually get down in there pretty well all right here's a look with the patch panel installed went ahead and uh, prepped that with weld through primer there you can see the fit nice tight gap we'll have to um, remove some of this rust resolver when we go to weld that in but yeah looking pretty good so far real happy with the way this is turning out all right, and there's our patch panel installed. Nice heavy bead across both sections of that panel, so it's nice and solid. And while we were in here, I had this Renline battery box for 911. I went and mounted it like this. Got four rib nuts, super solid here in the chassis. That's not going anywhere. They are safe to mount in this direction. I will cut this um, kill switch tab off. But yeah, that's super compact. I think it's more compact than the factory location. I might get creative and try to turn this 90 degrees and really make it compact and uh, try to make it as flush as I can with this. But uh, yeah, there's a look at that. We're gonna take a hop out of the back of this and take a look at some of our interior bits. All right, a little update on the 914. So much like the shifter car, we're going with a minimalist approach, doing the bare bones with respecting some of the Porsche factory interior components. So we're gonna go ahead and run a factory Porsche 914 steering wheel. These are beautiful steering wheels. I wish I could find a restored version. Uh, ECU Masters ADU 7 dash has replaced all the factory gauges. And we removed all the switches and stocks off of the steering column there. And we're replacing it with this CAN keypad. As a fabrication project, I went ahead and went to a steel supply store Bought these pre-cut brackets and made the mounts, so that was kind of fun doing that, playing around with the TIG welding machine. Down below in our foot control area, we went ahead and restored the pedal box, new plating, powder coating, and bushings in there. Got a Renline pedal board we're going to cover that all up with. The shifter we have in mock-up mode is uh, J-West, and that's going to be connecting all through Tangerine Racing products. 
Still to do in the fabrication department here is this cross support and all the seats. That's why we were kind of in mock-up phase there. We removed the fuse panel and wiring harness. We're replacing it with a ECU Masters PMU 16 unit. So that'll run all of our new electronics and lights. So I'm really excited about that unit. Um, big thanks to High Performance House. They've been helping me find little bits and pieces like uh, these knobs, finding fantastic uh, new old stock stuff and tail lights. So big thanks to Rich and the guys over there. They've been working hard helping me out. And big thanks to these guys, Patrick Motorsports. Got some new trailing arms we're gonna be putting on the car and also their um, hydraulic um, deck lid latch. So we'll show some videos of that. The guys at High Performance House have found some struts and potentially some hubs. So we're gonna transition this to five lug, maybe working with Willwood on getting um, some aluminum hub 911 based uh, brakes for the front end on this. And then the rear, actually trying to work with Willwood on using their factory 914 brake system and drilling and modifying a set of hubs to convert them over to five lugs. So we keep all the factory e-brake stuff. So. Anyhow, there's a lot going on there. Thank you to PMB. Thank you to Rich and the guys over at High Performance House. Big thanks to Patrick Motorsports and big thanks to you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to drop me some comments down below. Tell me I'm an idiot. Tell me uh, you like what I'm doing. Just give me some feedback. Let me know that I'm still alive. Anyways, hopefully you guys have a good one.